What's up, y'all? Welcome back for another reaction video. We are going to be looking at Project Athea, but the title of the game is actually going to be called Forspoken. Now, this game was actually shown at the PlayStation 5 Showcase um, back when, when they first showed like games for the PlayStation 5 and everything. So, this is going to be a PlayStation 5 exclusive game, and that's, and that's kind of crazy because this is Square Enix. So... I kind of thought that they was like multiplat, but um, Final Fantasy VII Remake is only on PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 and on PC, I believe. I'm not sure if it's on PC or not, but but that's only exclusive on the PlayStation 4. And the same thing is with this, I believe. I'm not sure if this game is going to come to PC or not, but this game is only for the PlayStation, which is crazy. Now, this game, we haven't really seen gameplay that much. We've seen, like, a teaser of something, but not really that much gameplay. So, this is something I've been looking forward to for a while. So, let's look at this gameplay trailer. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and let's look at this video. And our final update oh my today gosh. comes from the team at Luminous Productions. So loud. Luminous Productions. Jesus, this is loud. Luminous Productions. That's a cool looking monster, dude. Cool looking monster. The walking title. Hey everyone, Facebook. I'm Ella Valinska. So today she plays I am super okay. excited to finally announce that I play the lead character Frey in working title Project Athia, a brand new IP from Square Enix and Luminous Productions I like about a young before. woman in a beautiful yet threatening world. The development okay. team has been working super, super hard to create this remarkable journey, and it's been incredibly exciting to be a part of it. Frey is a character I Frey. immediately connected with when this project was first brought to me, and I've had so much fun working with the team to bring her character to life in performance capture and voice recording sessions. While we're not quite ready to reveal everything today, we do have a sneak peek at a brand new scene from the game and the final name to share. Let me but see this enjoy. sneak peek real quick. Let me see it, man. I gotta see something about this. Okay. Hide. Developer footage. Is that a motherfucking dragon? Oh. oh. So she's afraid of the dragon? What well, this has to be in the beginning. I guess. The graphics look insane. Wow. This is only on PlayStation 5, right? Like, it's not on PlayStation 4. I don't want nothing it's holding this game years. back. Then we should leave this place as well. With that thing out there. Oh, that's it. Boink. <laughs> and the game is called First Spoken. I already got spoiled by the title, but it really don't matter. But, you know. For Spoken. Okay, okay, some more, some more. Yo, this game looks insane. The movements look crazy. What is the gameplay going to be like though? Like, what is it going to come in 2022? 2022, PlayStation 5. Wow, that game looks insane. Looks insane. Um, That gameplay at the end, they showed a running, teleporting, fighting bears and fighting whatever uh, type of creatures that's going to be in this game. I don't even know, but this game looks insane, first of all. But I know not to have my expectations too high with video games these days, you know. So, so I really want to look like I really want to. I know more information is gonna be dropping about this game, like when the game is about to come out in 2022. So we will learn more about the game. But I'm gonna say this right now. This is on the list right here, my guy. This is on the list of games that that like, like just think of what PlayStation like this. Like PlayStation games are just crazy, man. They're freaking crazy. And it's not like Square Enix is like bought by Sony or nothing like that. It's just that Sony just, I guess they know, man. Like they know certain things. Like, uh, it's crazy. Like this game, like the gameplay reminds me of Final Fantasy. Just like a tiny bit. It reminds me of Final Fantasy a little bit. Now the story, I feel like, I know nothing about the story, but I'm just gonna be throwing some possibilities out there, you know. Uh, it looks like it might 
be about Faye. Of course, she's the main character. Um, the scene that we just saw must be in the beginning because she don't have her powers, I'm guessing. She was afraid of the dragon or something like that. She could be. She could have her powers and she could be afraid, but but from the trailer we saw like uh, like a year ago or something, or like a few months ago, she looked like she was taking on anything. So, so it seemed like that scene was in the beginning. And like, I'm really interested in seeing where this game is actually gonna go, like. Like these new games that they're teasing and everything, right now next gen is ass. Later on, games are really gonna start dropping, then then you'll see what the next gen consoles are really gonna pull off because a lot of these games that's dropping is gonna be on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X. So, so you're really not gonna see the power that these consoles could really do. But like these games are gonna start rolling out. That's only that's only exclusive on next gen. So we we really gonna be seeing some next gen quality games I say next year probably in 2022 we will be seeing some next gen games but tell me how you feel down below in the comment section are you getting this game day one did you like the game that you've seen did you like the scenes do you like Frey uh, tell me if you're hyped about this game or not man tell me if you're hyped if you like this video like comment subscribe don't forget to check the links down below and if you want me to react to any video, I'll put it down below in the comment section and I'll try my best to react to it when I can. Until then, peace.